Hey there, DeWaldo back with some more NetHack Valkyrie. So I did a little bit of off screeniness and just look, just marvel at this wonderful AC. Minus 32. Nothing's gonna hit me. I'm sitting pretty. So I did uh, bust that Wand of Wishing. I got a final magic marker. Um, and I've just been, you know, making scrolls. I still have tons and tons of unlabeled scrolls. 19 uncursed unlabeled scrolls, so I'll be good for the rest of the game for sure. And uh, I identified a bunch of rings, I identified a bunch of wands that I think I might be using. So I have two wands of death, which will be very integral for taking out the wizard. And everything's around plus five except for my speed boots. Um... I figured I would leave my magic marker with just a little bit of juice, just in case I need it. Maybe for a scroll of gold detection later on. Why gold detection? Well, I guess you'll figure out. Mm -hmm -hmm. So, I'm going to try this technique I heard works for defeating the wizard. I don't know if I'm going to do it right, so let's find out. First you have your wand of digging. Zap it at the corner. Good, good. You've revealed the wizard, but he's sleeping. So, zap your wand of death. There we go, and now he's dead. I'm actually going to move off of these squares, because hellhounds can breathe fire. And I don't need uh, that bullshit. Same with uh, dragons. Dragons can also breathe fire. Oh wait, that's a uh, orange dragon. So, zap my wand of digging once again. So as soon as you enter this tower, there's a bunch of squeaky boards. So the wizard will the wizard will wake up. That's why I wanted to stand at the corner and zap a wand at him, which worked. I didn't have to deal with any of his annoying bullshit. And I still have one last charge on that Wand of Death. Basically, as soon as he pops up, zap him with that Wand of Death. Um, don't waste Wands of Death on anything else but the Wizard is essentially what you should do. Unless you're in dire, dire straits. So, oh, I need to pick up, yes, Pepperus Spellbook. That is the Book of the Dead. I also cleared out a lot of my inventory space. So I don't really have to worry about getting overburdened too much again. Um, I was zapping my wand of polymorph, hoping to polymorph those unicorn horns into a uh, magic marker, another one. But that was not the case. So basically, after you defeat the wizard, like I keep saying, oh, I still have this room. It's full of goodies and stuff. I'm going to pick up that potion of booze just in case I need it. Put it in my bag of holding. Scroll of create. Honestly, I don't really need any more scrolls or potions. Usually those are the only thing I really bother picking up late game. I've checked all the squares to see if there's anything good like potions of healing or potions of gain level or any wonderful thing like that. Um, I'm going to just use the wand of cold on here. I might as well... Is this the one I've been using? I think so. I might as well just use it all up. It saves a turn of switching out of... Uh, Wait, have I been this way? Saves a turn of... Ugh. What just happened? I think this might have been the... Uh, summon Nasty spell. Also, I'm weak. Which is not good. So I'll kill these baddies. Good, good. I'll take out my 
Actually, I don't even... I'm just going to eat this black dragon corpse. There we go. Brings me from weak to satiated. Thank you, dragons. Any scrolls worth picking up? Um, I really don't think I need anything. Scrolls of teleport become more or less worthless once you pick up the amulet of Yendor. So, boom, we've teleported. And yeah, now it's uh, many objects here. What's here? Nothing worth anything. Now it's a uh, journey to the bottom. Which, yeah, I'll do in real time. I may just, usually I like to do a lot of off screen traveling. I may do that on screen just because um, the Wizard of Yendor is annoying and it will pop up. Yeah, vaguely nervous. Okay, I avoided something there. You'll pop up from time to time and you'll get little status messages. So if you feel vaguely nervous, um, it means a wizard event did not trigger, which is good for you. Um, a little bit of background note on the uh, vibrating square so it can't show up everywhere uh, there's limits on where it can be it has to be four squares away from a wall and it has to be I think like ten squares away from the staircase so now it's time for the invocation ritual so let me take out my uncursed candles how does this work? First you apply... Okay. First I think I imply, apply the candles. Yes. Attach the candles to the candelabrum. Perfect. So now it has its seven candles. And actually let me quickly check on the order. There's a special order you have to do it. Uh, to use the candles, the bell, and the spell book. So I'm pretty sure spell book is last. Let me just look. Okay, so the order is light the candles. So first apply. There we go. There's the candelabrum. It gives a lot of light. It's actually a really uh, pretty good item. So first you make some light, then you attract the audience. So apply the bell. Mm hmm, an unsettling shrill sound. And lastly, you read the book. Boom! So there we go, the floor shakes under you, the walls begin to bend and crumble. You are standing at the top of a stairwell leading down. So that's the only way to really get past this part. And like most late game things, you're going to want to rush this one pretty fast. You don't want to dawdle in the sanctum of Moloch. It is a no good. And now without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the chocolate room. Come with me and you'll see. Okay, that's enough silliness for now. That's actually ooh, one of my very favorite movies. Fun fact, the chocolate river in the uh, chocolate room scene is made from actual chocolate, water, and cream. I was told it spoiled quite quickly and caused the whole room to smell like crap. <laughs> ah, the legacy of movies. Aren't they wonderful? Now I just gotta find that goddamn door. Oop! Don't want to get level drained by these here wraiths. Let's kind of move out the way. It'd be awesome if they drop corpses, but I doubt they will. Actually, eh, I don't even feel like it. Maybe if I get level drained, I will... Oh! I think one dropped a corpse. It sure did. It sure did. Oh, you know how I feel about eating corpses while satiated. It's a bad idea. 
You can choke, even though rape corpses offer no sustenance, they can still kill you. And you can still get food poisoning from them, so they can be very dangerous if you don't give them the proper respect. But honestly, I'm just going to hack and slash my way through here. Um, do you need to see all this? Do you need to see me pressing buttons, destroying these things? Must I sate your bloodlust, you... Ah, uh, of course. Sorry, I'm, I'm very silly today. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't get much sleep. But I wasn't going to keep my lovely, devoted fans from waiting another second. <clears throat> As I traversed into Moloch's sanctum, the wonderful and important thing it is. Man, these vampires are dumb, but that minus 32 AC is helping me for sure. I'm not getting level drained, that's for sure. Ah, oh, thanks for that bolt of cold. Oh, and there goes my computer about to die. It sucks that they're all woken up. It's nice when you can just, yeah, zap that bolt of cold more. Please keep doing that. Wonderful, thank you. It's nice when you can just leisurely kind of walk through and just hit things until they die. Man, 248 HP. I don't know if I've ever had stuff HP that high. You can see all the corpses of my oddly named... Oh, actually, that's what I ought to do. Oops, I forgot from last time. Let's unlight the uh, thingamabob. I'm going to check these boxes, so I'm going to pause. All right nothing in the boxes actually a couple more notes I was just doing a little bit of wiki scumming and I found a couple things okay great <sighs> Ugh. it's this part <laughs> this part sucks the priests of Moloch are no fun they can summon bugs they are no good they're also quite powerful Hmm, poison gas, summon creatures, ooh. Okay, I think it's time for our uh, handy dandy ring of conflict. There we go, now everything's gonna be fighting each other. Ring of conflict will make you very hungry. Or hunger quicker, so it can be uh, not great. Also, it will cause enemies to use summoning spells a little more, uh, a little more often. So you can actually end up with more enemies if you're not careful. So use it sparingly, like all things. But it's great for these terrible rooms filled with dastardly enemies and bad things. Okay, let's take the scroll taming. Um, I was actually looking at the wiki and I was wondering, okay, are these invocation items worth keeping? And for a small part, they... Oh, shoot. Ah, no. I moved a little bit too fast. These are never... Ugh... Yeah, so things like the Book of the Dead, is that worth keeping? Um, Candelabrum of Invocation, and they do have their uses. Uh, Candelabrum of Invocation uh, has the highest light radius in the game. So, uh, shoot, ah. if you have a source of jumping, then it allows you to uh, I guess what's called expert jump, so jump around with some uh, degree of precision. 
Oh, and the flames died. Nice. But mine already ran out. I doubt I'm going to find any more candles. I may just drop it. Because I don't really need it anymore. Uh, the Book of the Dead can be quite good. If it's blessed, then you can uh, tame co-aligned undead, which for me being lawful, um, it's not that useful. I mean, most undead are going to be chaotic, so it's good if you're chaotic. But otherwise, meh. Uh, oh, I also want to take out my wand of opening, which I only really need for this part in the game, and that's it. Uh, bell of opening is like a wand of opening. You can use it to open shit, but again, it's heavy, so I'm going to drop that too. Uh, another thing the Book of the Dead can do, um, if it's cursed, then it will actually summon undead, which includes wraiths. So you can just keep using it over and over and over again to just continually summon wraiths. So one of these walls randomly has a door. You can never quite be sure which one. So you're going to have to either you know, go on each square and search, which is laborious and tedious and sucks, or just take your secret door detection wand and zap away. So it doesn't look like I found it yet. Is it on this wall? Is it on this wall? God damn it. Do I have to be right next to it? Is that what's going on? Now you do search diagonals, so you don't need to go right next to everything. Ah, and there it is. Nothing's burnt, everything's looking good. Uh, now is the priest of Moloch who is going to summon nasties and generally be a pain. And also, I guess, a horse. A horse is there, too. There we go. Whoa, what just happened? Ah, Moloch is zapping me, too. Man, that hurt. Okay, hit by the priest of Moloch, cast a spell, your body's covered in painful wounds. So that brought me down to 200 health. I'm going to take another stab at him. There we go. So Moloch is dead. Let me apply my unicorn horn. Or the priest of Moloch is dead. Yes, and there it is the great MacGuffin. So this is probably one of the most important actions in the entire game. What you want to do, hashtag name, yes, name an individual object, name this amulet of Yendor real. Because what can happen is now that you have the amulet, whenever the wizard spawns and tries to do things to you, you can, whoa, Death Ray. Salamander can zap wands? That's messed up. I did not know that. Okay, let's let's take it out. Come on. There we go. Nice. And grab ourselves another wand of death. Perfect. I'm actually going to put that one in the bag. Three wands of death. Not doing bad. Now, I'm going to identify some stuff. What was I saying exactly? Oh, yes, about naming the amulet. Uh, whenever you encounter the, the wizard or I, some other things can do it to you as well. But uh, sometimes they will steal the amulet of Yendor and replace it instead 
with, uh, ch -ch -ch sorry, one sec, uh, with a fake amulet of Yendor, and there's no way of telling them apart. And it could become quite annoying if you, at the end of the game, sacrifice a fake amulet of Yendor to your god, uh, they will get really angry at you and start throwing lightning in your face, and it can be a really frustrating and silly and dumb way of dying. So, of course, name the real amulet of Yendor real. And I'm going to do a little more wiki checking just to make sure I can dump my invocation items, and I'm going to check the BCU status of all my shit. So, I'll be back in a second. Okay. Everything's pretty much what I expected. Um, yes, I was right. Uh, you don't need any of those items to actually win the game. They have a high uh, score value, so they're good in that... Uh, ooh, in that they will uh, buff your score. But other than that, they're not really that useful. Uh, so now I have the Amulet of Yendor. I've talked a little bit about what happens when you have it. Not fun things. Let's kill this Mind Flayer. Did it leave a corpse? No. No, it didn't. Darn, that's a fun way to buff your intelligence. But, like I've said, the Amulet of Yendor, what's that all about? Um... It makes you hungrier faster. Uh, you can no longer level teleport or branch teleport. Um, the wizard can automatically find you whenever he teleports to you. Whee! I'm floating in the air. What else? Um... Spells take extra energy. Uh, it just makes the game just a little bit harder. Um, now where's the... There we go. Also in Gehenna, it has a 1 in... Th I think it's a... I don't know. 1 in 5 or 1 of 3 chance of just outright... That's not the smart way to go. Of outright... Uh, pushing you down a couple levels, which is not fun. It just makes Gehenna that much harder to get through. I'm going to eat that just to get the sustenance. Mm -hmm. What else happens? Ooh, a malignant aura. So that means some of my stuff is cursed. Um, yeah. No, nothing major. As long as my unicorn horn... Let's see, unicorn horn... Oh, it's uncursed now. I might as well bless that. As long as my unicorn horn and my bag of holding our, are... Uh, blessed. That's what matters. Bless unicorn horn isn't, like, too, too necessary. There are more important things to bless sometimes, but having a cursed unicorn horn, especially when you're in dire need, that has killed me one or two times. So make sure they're blessed just so that they're that much harder to become cursed. And there's the staircase. Mm -hmm. And the game is basically just like this. Find those up staircases and pff, get teleported. Hooray! Yay! Um, might as well use up this wand of digging. Avoid using the pickaxe. Yay! Now you get to know how fun it is. That's one good thing that the uh, Amulet of Yendor does, as you have just seen. Sometimes it gives you clairvoyance, which means it helps map 
the dungeon for you, which can be very helpful. But other than that, pretty much everything is bad. And it's just there to annoy you. Um, okay, back to the important stuff. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Okay, so, the tunnel scene. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> uh, scroll of teleportation, don't need that. So the tunnel scene is actually really cool for various reasons. Um, one, uh, Gene Wildman, Gene, ah, Gene Wildman, uh, Gene Hackman's acting was so good that he actually scared several of the children actors who thought he was literally going crazy from being in the tunnel too long. <laughs> uh, that's great. They also, uh, a fun fact, whoa, oh, I'm fainting. That's no good. No good at all. Let's actually eat a lizard corpse. So I'm only weak. Shoot, no, I'm still fainting. Damn it. Gotta get out my royal jelly slash lembus wafers. Actually, good time for lembus. Yummy, that was delicious. Let's eat that banana. I gotta watch my hunger a little bit better. Let's eat that Jabberwock corpse. There we go, now I'm satiated. Everything is as it should be. Uh, what can I get rid of? And those can go away. There we go. Whoa, there's a lot of scary things in there. Mm-hmm. So the thing about the Oompa Loompa, <laughs> I feel like I'm, oh, I'm kind of going crazy here. <laughs> Sorry I'm being so odd. Ah, oh, god damn it! Ah, oh, the amulet of Yador! Um, they shot most of the film in Germany. So, Titans, yeah, I don't need you. So it was actually quite hard to find little people to play the Oompa Loompas. Okay, quick travel. Go. I feel like I'm on crazy pills. And I just got level teleported again? No, I think that time was okay. Um, oh, I feel that there's a better way. I don't always love the pathfinding in this game. Oh well, it will find me a path. Cool, didn't get teleported again. So it was hard to find little people to play Oompa Loompas in Germany. So a lot of the actors came from other countries that didn't speak English. And so a lot of the actors whoop, weren't a lot of the actors didn't speak English and it made it hard to kind of communicate and know their lines and stuff but it also allowed for a lot of silliness uh, if you ever see oh that wand of digging is gone if you ever see uh, the actors in the uh, Oompa Loompa song scenes okay good wand of digging Sometimes they look like they don't know their lines, which is actually true. They don't. <laughs> also, in the uh, tunnel scene with the chocolate river and whatnot, um, the Oompa Loompa driving. Oop, that's not the one I want. The Oompa Loompa driving the. What the hell? Can't go up. Oh can't go up because it's a down staircase. Oops. The Oompa Loompa driving the ship actually thought he was steering the ship. Uh, <laughs> and the director apparently didn't have the heart to tell him he wasn't. 
Oh, that's kind of horrible, but also kind of awesome. That's why that movie is the best, and you should watch it right now. Go watch it. Go watch it right now. Actually, this one's gone. That one's all used up. Um, I don't know if you need to be witnessing me going up through the floors and getting frustrated. And also cursing every time I get teleported. I mean, you will be missing some really great facts about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But... I might... Ah! Oh no, wait, no. Ugh, I didn't get teleported. That's good. But I might just unpause it if the wizard shows up or something happens. I'll see you when I see you. Boop! It's the first appearance of the Wizard of Yendor! Um, I could zap my wand at him. That may be a good thing to do. I have a hell of a lot of charges, so... Damn it. Death Ray misses. He has a thing. Yeah. Damn it. I don't want to cast it really close to a wall. Or it might bounce and then hit me. That wouldn't be good. Good, he's dead. He has a thing called Double Trouble. That's weird. A salamander's a, 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 like a newt. How can it throw spears and zap wands? I don't get it. Okay. Gusfrava. Everything will be okay. Uh, so he can actually summon two of himself, which can become even more annoying. Ah, this part of the game makes you go crazy! Um, but I'm going to pause it. We'll be back if he shows up again. And I'll probably be crazier. Yes! Yes! Okay, no more... Annoying level teleportation. I'm done with that shit. Ugh. But actually, this video is about at that 30 minute mark. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm probably going to go through the rest of the dungeon off screen. Uh, there's nothing really that I need to pick up. I think I have all I need. I have many a wand of death. Uh, many an awesome thing. So now that all that remains is the, uh, what is it? The elemental planes. Exactly. So that will be a fun little journey. Um, I thought I would leave you with one last Willy Wonka fact. And this is actually kind of an old director's trick but the reactions of the children when they first see the chocolate room was completely authentic they had never seen the room before they shot that scene so this was all their very first time seeing it awesome oh <sighs> know what's also awesome ascending a valkyrie so that's gonna probably come up in the next video but until next time uh, take care